Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're actually going to be looking at dual mining of Nexa and Alephium. So these are two very profitable coins on their own and they bring in a lot of revenue. But today we're actually going to be dual mining them. Now people might not have seen how to dual mine certain coins because normally BZ miner or other miners that allow dual mining only give a set of certain dual mining pairs in the actual config files. So as you can see here, this is BZ miner. These are preset batch files for BZ miner and they only do Ergo with Casper, Radiant, Alephium, Ironfish, but there's no actual Nexa and Alephium batch file that they preset. If we go onto the BZ miner GitHub as well, we can see here that the optimized dual mining for specific coins. If you didn't know BZ miner, you can play around a lot with it. So you can actually mine two of any coins. So all algorithms can be mined together. These are the only ones that are optimized for BZ miner specifically. So the development team have actually optimized for Okta and Alephium or ETHW and Alephium or ETH Classic and Alephium or those other coins there. However, if you note here, all algorithms can be mined together. So this is what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be mining Nexa and Lithium. We're going to show you how to get a wallet and then how to set up the batch file. Overall, I think it's good that BZ Miner allows this because a lot of mining programs only have set dual mining coins and they don't allow you to play around. But with BZ Miner, you can also add in like triple mining if you config the file properly, which I will make a video on. It's just this is a starter into how to kind of play around with BZ Miner and we're looking at Nexa and Alephium. So firstly, before anything, we wanna get wallets for both coins. Nexa, if you scroll down here, you can see the wallet and I'll leave them linked in the description so you guys can actually get them. Just click on whichever one your operating system is. Once you've downloaded that, it'll open up a file and just run through the setup and it should look like this. So this is our Nexa wallet. Once we've had that set up, we can move over to the Alephium wallet. And as I said, linked in the description below, you just click on the top, get wallet here, and then it scrolls down here. You can pick any one of these. Mobile wallet is coming soon. However, today we're just gonna be using the desktop wallet. Once you've downloaded that and run through the setup, it should give you a wallet that looks like this. Now you need to create a wallet and then allow the password. So I'm just gonna type in my password now. Once in here, you can see all your wallets and I know they're coming with tokens soon, I believe on the Alephium network. So I'll probably make a video on that but this will give us our address at the top here. So this is what we're gonna need for our batch file. So once you've set up both of the wallets, we need to actually download BZ Miner. So the GitHub is linked in the description. We just scroll up to releases right here and then scroll down and you wanna download either the Linux or the Windows one. Once that's downloaded, it will give you this. You need to actually extract the files from a zip folder but it will give you all of these batch files. Now today we're gonna to actually be editing a previous batch file that's already pre-made because it already has a lithium set into the actual batch file. So we're just gonna be using the ETH Classic plus a lithium dual mining one here. We wanna right click, edit, and as you can see here, it's set up for various different things. Now you need to go in and actually adjust these. So we're gonna take out all of this and then we're gonna take out all of these as well. So it only leaves us with one line of batch files. Now, the first thing that we want to do, we already have a lithium set up here, as you can see as our second algorithm. But for Nexa, we need to delete the ETH hash and we want to type in Nexa. And now this W here is for our Nexa wallet. So we go back to our wallet address here, click on receive, or you can click on file and then receive in addresses. You click here and you click copy, and then you go back to your batch file and paste it over these four numbers here. That's our Nexa set up. We'll look into the actual pools in a minute. However, let's also replace the Alephium wallet address since we're talking about that now. So we open up our Alephium wallet and our address should be at the top here. You can just click copy address, go back into the batch file and paste it over these four numbers here. So there we go. We have both our Alephium and Nexa addresses set. Next, we need to actually pick pools. So we're going to go into mining pool stats. Now you can pick any of these. I'm just going to use Wooly Pooly today. So we go over to Wooly Pooly, we scroll down, we click on connection, select the pool type, which is gonna be PPLNS. And then we wanna copy this EU or whichever one corresponds to where you are in your region. Once that's copied, you can actually paste it over the Nexa, Stratum and TCP. So there we have it. 
that's the Wooly Pooly Pool. Now we got to do the same for Elethium. So on mining pool stats, as I said, Elethium, you can pick any of these. Today we're going to be using Hero Miners, which the closest one for me is this one. But pick the closest one to your region. You want to copy that and paste it over here. I believe it's already set as that, so that's good. And then you want to just leave this max dual auto-tune because it basically levels out the two algorithms when you're actually mining. So once that's actually done, you can click exit and save and the file should be here. We just can rename this to instead of ETC, we'll just put Nexa and that should be our Nexa dual Alephium file set up. Sorry, it's gone all the way down here, hasn't it? Okay, so Nexa and Alephium. Now I'm not going to run it because I'm also recording on OBS right now but I'll add a little snippet in from a different camera whilst I'm running the actual program. And as you can see there, we're mining both Nexa and Alephium at the same time. Now the profitability of this is actually very good in terms of how much coins you're getting. The profitability of Nexa is kind of down right now just because the price of the coin is down as well, but Alephium is doing very well. So when we take it over to hash rate no we can see the type of profitabilities that we would be getting so the profits from elephium is 33 cents for a 4090 and then if we scroll down here to nexa get a profits of 34 cents so they're kind of on the same profitability so they're going to even out nicely i think it chooses nexa over elephium mostly when you're dual mining this because Nexa is a more power hungry algorithm than Alephium. Also when you're playing around in BZ Miner with these dual algorithms, there's gonna be certain algorithms that don't wanna clash with each other. I know that Minesum made a video on mining four separate coins at the same time on one GPU and that was definitely through BZ Miner because BZ Miner allows you to tinker around with the batch files more than other mining programs. So there is a possibility to have way more than four. It just depends on the type of GPU that you're using. Does it have enough VRAM to actually support more than four algorithms? Does it have the power to support more than four algorithms? I believe the BZ miner dev also said that he could get it up to eight algorithms at one time. So there is possibility to mine more than four coins or up to at least eight coins at the same time. So if we look at mine some here, we can see that the four coins on one GPU and one on one CPU, which algorithms work together in this video, I'll link it in the description if you wanna go look at it. It's basically just about these four coins that he was able to actually get running on one GPU. Now there are certain algorithms, as I said, that don't clash well with each other. I think the Nexa Ravencoin Meow coin would clash very well because they're basically the same algorithm. It's just hashing on different networks because they're modified versions of the ProgPow and the CarPow algorithms. So they would probably work well together. Other algorithms that are probably going to work well together are ETHash ones. So that could be any ETHash coins. And we've seen that with, you know, Zill and Ethereum Classic. Ergo, I don't think any other coins would be willing to work with that. But Ergo is a very nice algorithm to dual mine with as well. So mainly the algorithms that have a lot of coins on them would be the most favorable to have more than four coins on one mine. But if you're trying to clash certain algorithms, like I'm sure Casper and Alephium is very efficient, but the algorithms might not clash very well. So that's it for the video. As I said, everything will be linked in the description below. Let me know if you've got it all set up. If you don't and you have any problems, leave them in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this.